and begin. Hey folks, this is Jason. I'm at Pond 2A at Juliet, Georgia. Uh, this is Piedmont National Wildlife Refugee. There is tens of thousands of acres out here. Uh, got all the way out here and found out I only brought one or two weights. So I can't get the huge bass on the bottom, I don't think, like uh, I have in the past. So I'm having a hard time using this little shad wrap repella. It's a mid diver. And I'm tying off to various posts after post. One over there. I've been floating around here a few hours. It's a pain in the neck if you only got one paddle, no trolling motor, but it's something to do. The monster bass are out here, and hopefully, with the last wet I have, I might be able to catch one. We'll just have to see how it goes. I will take pictures. All right, that's a zoom worm. That's a green pumpkin. I think I just got some good nibbles. Still getting rain from Hurricane Isaac. But uh, this place is awesome, man. About to see what I can't catch on my hook. Hopefully I get a bass and I'll be able to videotape that too. Only time will tell. That is the way of the lake. I'm going to take me some videos today. For many moons, my ancestors lived along these banks. And then white man come and take all the fish. If I don't find one soon, I'm going to pack it up. Okay, I'm going to try this one last spot, right in the middle of the lake. I'm going to show you something, though. On this post I'm tying off on, there's a small little bird nest in there with some eggs that are already cracked. Those could very well be the endangered species woodpecker that lives out here, but... Uh, they're already hatched, so no worries there. I'm about to catch me. If Welcome to Georgia Fishing Monster Bass Show with your host, Jason Bowen. And that didn't work, but I can smell them. That's a good sign. structure that they get snagged on. But that is where they are. They love brush and structure. My brother-in-law said, what do bass like to eat? I said, bass love rubber worms. He's like, huh? <laughs> That's a piece of grass. Your host Jason Bones back for monster bass fishing down south. <laughs> and I got something to show you guys. Wait till you see what's in this water. First, I gotta get him on this hook here. And that's down. It's uh, to the cleaning table. Let that soak. Yeah. Even with a boat, fishing is not easy. 
I think that's what I might like about it. Usually I've discovered anything that's uh, gratifying so f so quickly is gone quickly too. This you have to work for it. You feel it's life force. You don't just go out there and shoot something. Boys and girls, fishing is not easy, even with a boat. But I think that's what I might like about it. I've discovered anything that's gratifying very quickly is often gone quickly too. This is stuff you can dream about like all the time. Um, something you could just enjoy. It, it's a lifelong hobby. Something I love fishing out in Steenhatchee, Florida. Besides catching tons of great saltwater fish, is when you pull back up into that marina, all beat up from the ocean, the wind, the salt, and uh, you're the star. You're the star of the show. Everyone's sitting around uh, watching people clean fish, drinking beers, smoking cigarettes, and they want to see what you caught. Out here, uh, it's a different story. Getting a shot of uh, the wildlife out here. There's something, there's a big turtle. I don't know if you can see that by that stump. And then, on that little green patch, there's a black bird over there. Looks only indigenous to this area poking around. There's stuff splashing around everywhere. I had a good time anyway. I'm going to go try that. I'm going to try to film this little bird again. I don't know if you can see it. But he's right over there and he's real close to the ground. And he saw like a minnow jump or something. He went, Phew. he's just real level to the ground. This phone's pretty crappy quality, so... Maybe on the big screen it'll look better. Tuttle. This stuff is impossible to fish in. There's a... If you can see... In there, the water there. It is beautiful though. There's that little bird. What you doing? Get that minnow. Get that minnow. Look at him. He's eating something. See him? Now he's turning around. He's flicking his tail. He's got a little minnow in his bill. They sit there and they stick their necks way out. They're like a, they move like a, a blue or white heron a water hair on. He is straight up eating him some a grub. Some grub. He got him a minute. Look at him. Alright. All packed up and ready to go. It's my nice new truck all decaled out. Let's try the dot real quick. See if we can't find us a few little stragglers here. Really, this place is huge, though. So. See what we got. a turkey take off from the middle of the road where that joker go dang he was huge <laughs> probably up one of them trees 
If it was my uncle, he'd be gone. That joker had a big beard on him too, man. He was huge. Well, about 15 minutes off the main road, back in the cut. Damn, it was a big. See if we can't make us here a documentary. It's a wildlife show, boys and girls. Uh, lots and lots of animals and wildlife out here. I don't think I can loop all my videos together, but if I can, it's going to be cool. And humorous. <laughs> Yeah, hopefully, um, once I make it back, when I make it back to the main road, I'll blend in the sequence and show you, you know, just when I drive back over the bridge, how high the old Mulgy is right now. There's some really neat places out here, though. These people got a pretty nice spread. I wouldn't mind having this little place right here. The guy's doing, what's up, man? 